My name is Brittany and I'm here with my infamous girl Brooke and today we're going to be talking about employee motivation. So I'm super excited for us to go over this concept with you guys this week because Brooke actually was just out of town at an EME event and this was a reoccurring theme that we saw a ton of or that she saw a ton of rather this week. So uh, Brooke can you tell us a little bit about where you were, what is EME and Tell me about the concept. Yeah, absolutely. So I just got back from Orlando where it was much warmer than it is here. Um, and EME is like a speed dating event for distributors and suppliers. So you can have 20 minutes of each other's undivided attention where you can really dig down and see how can you partner together going forward. And I think one of the common themes that we heard all week besides employee onboarding where end users are focusing is employee motivation programs where they're either hitting some kind of metric, uh, setting some kind of corporate metric where when they hit it, they get some kind of swag or an ongoing maybe safety campaign is what we heard a lot of this week. So they were really looking for products to put in that kind of space. Very cool. And I think that this is something that comes up a lot in terms of ideation requests for us. So I think you had a really, really cool one that came out of last week. So do you want to just dive in and yeah, absolutely. share yours? So one of the things that I just said was safety. Safety is huge. Um, and several of our distributors were asking for products that they could put in a safety campaign where when they hit certain safety milestones, they were able to get some sort of swag and it would be like a good, better, best um, with how long they've been safe. So one thing everybody really loved was um, our full color contour print. We also have the ability to personalize. So not only could they do a tumbler with the company logo on it um, on one side, but on the other side, they could either list out the name of the person getting the um, award or hitting the achievement, but also the safety um, award that they were receiving. That's really cool. Um, and then they ask if we could do the same thing with an item that has laser engrave on it. So our power banks do have the ability to have laser engrave decoration and you can also do personalization on these so they could get this for their first milestone for the second they could get something like this and so on and so forth to build that program out I think that's a really cool idea because I don't think a lot of people think of variable data for things like the award session. I think that they think of it maybe for fourth quarter gifts or um, very specific customer appreciation events. So that's a cool mm -hmm. way to tie in the actual milestone with the corporate logo and even the name, especially depending on how big it is. So, yeah. And we got a ton of items that hit that full color and the laser engraving. So I thought that's a really cool one. And I think if I'm not mistaken, May safety week is coming up. So for any of you guys that have clients where this fits the bill if you want to get some ideation going we have a buffet of options for you to choose from so I think that's a really awesome kind of everyday price point for your normal organizations mm -hmm. but let's just pretend that maybe you have a client who is more on the upscale maybe they want something that's a little bit more executive or corporate I do have a couple of pieces here in front of me because the way that we've seen these used is if you have a corporate sales team for instance that maybe they hit the million dollar club or they're looking to hit the million dollar club and you're trying to motivate them to get there those people really want to be recognized right that's a huge achievement not just for the company but for them personally so a cool way to do that would be to outfit them with different color pieces than everybody else. So the Barrington collection is something that we get a lot of requests for. This is a really premium leather options and there's a huge array of items to choose from. But the way that we've seen it used is maybe they give all of their salespeople something like this portfolio, which is one of my favorites. I personally travel with this all the time keep my laptop and any of my documents that I need in there. It's really, really handy, but maybe everybody that's onboarding in that corporate sales team gets a black one, but then your million dollar club members or your performers get a brown one so that anytime they're walking through the company or the organization at events for the company, then everybody knows when they're carrying that around that they're a top performer, which is a really cool incentive, I think. And we, and we did have these products at EME this week and everyone loved them across the board because not only um, do you have the outside, but you can also do the step and the repeat logo on the inside of mm -hmm. it. And it also comes with branded packaging as well, which is always great. Wow. Yeah, so you can make a nice ready presentation, but then these are great everyday items that they're going to use that promote recognition for their achievements. So I really, really love this. And since I use them every day myself, big fan, right? Uh, but and then the last thing that we've got is none other than one of our best sellers, the plastic wooden nickel. I know that you guys have seen this item. It's been in the industry for a while, but there's 
so many different ways that you can use this piece. And I think that this employee motivation space is not one that you naturally gravitate towards. So let's say you have a call center or a large customer service center and you're trying to help get them motivated to achieve certain things like maybe they get a certain amount of great reviews right or um, maybe there's a certain number of calls or activations that you're trying to help them hit or motivate them to hit for credit cards or new customer acquisitions things like that you can use these as different color combinations for achievement so anytime somebody gets a new activation for a credit card maybe they get the green one and every time they get one you give them one of these green ones so that they can pile up and then they can redeem these tokens later on for maybe another nicer item in the mix so that you can consolidate the spend on the gifts that you're giving, but these are really inexpensive ways to motivate people and for them to rack them up and keep them on their desk for others to see or for them to redeem later on. So I I mean, I think we've done this yeah. quite a few times, right? Yeah, so yeah. we did it with our sales support team on the inside and it really brought a level of competition. They would talk about how many each person got and what they were gonna redeem them for later. Mm -hmm. And we had several different levels. It may be something, you know, small, but a lot of them would rack them, hold them and rack them up for something a lot nicer. Yeah, yeah. And I think this kind of ties into even yours with the safety piece because mm -hmm. they can rack up these tokens and redeem them for personalized copies on different pieces, right? So then they can build up a set. And the drinkware is something that they're probably going to keep on their desk. Mm -hmm. And they're going to want to walk around with it because they're going to want everybody to know that they're a top performer in some form or fashion. So that's a really cool way to give a little motivation and a little love to the people that are really kicking butt for you. So um, that being said, employee motivation, if you guys have any ideas or things that you want to share, maybe questions that you might have. Like I say, we got a huge array of different options for you depending on your budget and your need, but these are just a couple of good ideas that we thought you guys would like. So to wrap things up, what you're gonna see more of going into the coming weeks is more incentive-based or initiative-based concepts like this. So you may see yours truly, right? Talking about things like social responsibility, sustainability, not just employee motivation, but maybe employee retention and um, how to help with things like turnover over in your organization and then you're also going to get the cool buffet of other things like case histories and stuff to support those things but we always do a would you rather normally we do this at the beginning but we want to get to the meat and potatoes of things right out of the gate so i've got a really good would you rather for brooke and brooke i gotta ask you so would you rather have the same phone that you have now for the rest of your life or keep this beautiful haircut that you have and, and forevermore I don't know. That's a hard one because, you know, the phones are going to get outdated. Yeah, and you can't update them after know, a certain point. I know, but you're going to get tired of your hair. Like, yeah. you got to change it up every once in a while. you can going to get a wig. Well, true. <laughs> I think I would say that I would want to keep the same, same hairstyle because I would get really frustrated with the phone after a while. Yeah. You know what? There's so many filters now that you can make the hairstyle yeah. what you want it yeah. to be. What about you? <laughs> um, you know, I think I'm with you. I think uh, if I even think about what... I had in high school, I had that Nokia brick. Or did you ever have the, <laughs> the two-way? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Did you ever have the two-way? Uh, yeah. I had a blue two-way and I just thought I was like the coolest thing. But now <laughs> to think about going to a two-way, I could I could never. So I can only imagine 10 years from now what that will look like. But um, So that was a good one. And then I got one more for you. Would you rather know every language or know how to talk to animals? So I think that's an easy one because I would rather talk to animals. Yeah. Because all the time I wonder, what is my dog thinking? <laughs> what would they say if they could talk to us right now? Yeah, like uh, um, our little promo pup Carmen is in the office today. She normally comes in on Fridays. And I would just love to know what she's thinking whenever we have her on the couch or she's walking around talking to people. Because <laughs> sometimes she's just a little too happy and friendly. And some people might not like that. So... <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much, guys, for joining us today around employee motivation. We cannot wait to see you guys in the coming weeks. And just a quick reminder, the new products that we have in the mix, Aura and Miri, which are part of our exclusive Elo collection, they are now in stock and live. So go check them out. We are ready to rock on them. But we hope that you have a good weekend, and we'll talk to you soon. See you guys later.